Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed and to my first romantic reaction of February. Although it's not February yet because January lasts nine weeks. Oh my gosh, can you believe Christmas was only three and a half weeks ago? That doesn't make any sense. That's not, it's, can't be true. Okay, so I had a classic romantic poll, two of them actually. Then we took the top two of each, made them into a final poll, and our winner was Singing in the Rain. And My Fair Lady was the runner up. I may or may not be watching that one as well. And then I accidentally messed up the final poll and put the third place into the championship. So one of them got like ousted on accident. And so I'm just gonna watch that one because that seems the only fair thing to do. And it's it happened one night, which has been highly suggested. So I'm excited. Okay, so. Singing in the Rain. I admit that I have not seen a lot of musicals and the ones I have have been like more recent, like The Greatest Showman and um, Wonka, saw that. That was a musical, who knew? So cute. I watched Sound of Music a lot as a kid. That's one of my mom's favorite movies, but I have not seen a lot of classic musicals. And I guess this is the classic musical. I have heard the song, Singing in the Rain, you know, so. I'm assuming that's what this is from. I actually don't know the names in this. I don't know if there's any big names. I actually don't know if it's in black and white. I actually don't know anything about it. So I am in for a treat, I am sure. A love story, I hope, and hopefully some tunes stuck in my head for the rest of the week. Okay, let's watch Singing in the Rain. If you wanna vote on polls like romantic classics and new romantics and everything else, not just romantics. Here's my Patreon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> and we are, of course, in our new popcorn bedroom. So it is still pretty bare, kind of echoey. We're working on it, on making it feel like home. Here it is. came first, the movie or the song? Hmm. What a night! Every star in Hollywood's heaven is here to make monumental pictures premiere. Everyone is breathlessly awaiting the arrival of Lena Lamont and Don Lockwood. Darling of the Slapper set out the standard. <laughs> Zelda's had so much unhappiness. I hope this time it's really love. Here comes all gum down. Oh dang. Still as happy as newlywed. He looks like the girl from Emperor's New Groom. He plays the piano on the set for Don and Lena. Oh, folks, this is it. This is it. Don Lockwood and Lena Lamont. No wonder they're a household name all over the world. I don't think I know those guys. Are these I guess I gotta look up wedding these. bells are soon to ring for you and Lena? We're just good friends. Gene Kelly. I'm getting confused with Grace Kelly. Any story of my career would have to include Cosmo Brown. We were kids together. I've had one or motto Cosmo? which I've always lived by. Dignity. Always dignity. They sent me to the finest schools. So that's where I first met Cosmo. They used to make such a fuss over me. They brought me up on Shaw, Moliere. <laughs> to this was added rigorous musical training at the Conservatory of Fine Arts. And we rounded out our apprenticeship at the most exclusive dramatics academy. And in all time. So he's BSing. Always dignity. And they probably can't prove it. No one had cell phones, but. Haven't a worry, haven't a care. Be like a feather to float on air. That's actually impressive. Now the church bells will be ringing with a hang oh, I don't want him to be ashamed of this. This is a better story than the finest schools to getting famous. Like. <laughs> Let's see the TikTok dancers do that one. That was... Everywhere adored us. 
Finally, we decided to come to sunny California. Movie studios started pouring in. Okay, Lena, you hate him. You're resisting him. Keep that mood music going. Now you see how Phil. That's it. Now here's the bit part where you get it on the jaw. You were supposed to go head over heels over the bar and crash into the glasses. Swell, just swell. Take him away, fellas. We've lost more Don Stunman on this picture. It'll take hours to get a new one over from Central Cash. I think I can do that for you. But you, you're a musician. Get this guy in a bird suit. That was wonderful. <laughs> you got any more little chores you want done in this picture? <laughs> <laughs> this is a better story, the true one. Eat your heart out, Tom Cruise. All through those pictures, Lena was, as always, an inspiration to me. Warm and helpful, a real lady. Hello, Miss Lamont. I'm Don Lockwood, the stuntman. Gee, it was sure a thrill working with you, Miss Lamont. I think you've got something, Don. I'm going to put you and Lena together in a picture. Are you doing anything tonight, Miss Lamont? Well, that's funny. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> Well, Lena and I have had the same wonderful relationship ever since. And I'm sure you and Lena will continue making movie history tonight. Good enough, boys. Villain film. She's so refined. I think I'll kill myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does she not speak? We screen actors are much good at speaking in public, so we'll just act out our thanks. For heaven's sake, what's the big idea? The publicity department rod here thought it would be much better. Oh my gosh. When audiences think you've got a voice to match. What's wrong with the way I talk? What's the big idea? Her voice really does not match. Helena. You've been reading those fan magazines again. There is nothing between us. It's cooked up romance just for publicity. The price of fame, Don. Don't tell me. It's a flat tire. Hey, there's Don Lockwood. Hi, kid. Who's that? This man is your brother. Hi, it's Don Lockwood. How are you, Mr. Lockwood? I'll get out now. I'm driving to Beverly Hills. Can I drop you someplace? Oh, I would like to get out of this ventilated suit. Ventilated suit. We movie stars get the glory. I guess we have to take the little heartaches that go with it. I knew I'd seen you. Which of my pictures have you seen? Yes, I think you were dueling. And there was a girl, Lena Lamont. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> the personalities on the screen just don't impress me. <laughs> they don't act. They just make a lot of dumb show. <laughs> Here we are, sunset in Camden. <laughs> I'm an actress what? on the stage. Oh, on the stage. Well, I'm not in a play right now, but I will be. I'm going to New York. Kathy Selden as Juliet, as Lady Macbeth, as King Lear. Oh, he's offended. You're nothing but a shadow on film, a shadow. What could I do to you? I'm only a shadow. You keep away from me. I must tear myself from your side. <laughs> Enemies to lovers. You can see it now. I'll take it. You know, she kind of looks like, Lena kind of looks like Rebecca from Ted Lasso. Tell me the truth, am I a good actor? Well, as long as I'm working for Monumental Pictures, you're the greatest of them all. Maybe you better keep telling me from time to time. I feel a little shaken. Show for you. you are, Donnie. Where have you been? I was lonely. Hello, Lena. <laughs> you got that gadget working, Sam? All set, Mr. Simpson. Okay, let her go. Hello. This is a demonstration of a talking picture. Note how my lips and the sounds issuing from them are synchronized together in perfect unison. There's somebody talking behind that Concept screen. Come on from behind that screen, Mr. Simpson. My voice has been recorded on a record. Oh, they don't believe it. It's just a toy. It's a screen. 
I doubt it. The Warner Brothers are making a whole talking picture with this gadget, the jazz singer. It'll never amount to a thing. Ah. Yeah, that's what they said about the horseless carriage. I have a delicious surprise. It's a very special case. Well, if it isn't Ethel Barrymore. I do hope you're going to favor us with something special. Don't be shy. You make about the prettiest Juliet I've ever seen. All I do is dream of you the whole night through. <laughs> He can sing and dance. <laughs> Did he just do that? <laughs> She's an actress on the legitimate stage. Here's one thing I've learned from the movies. <laughs> Never look lovely, oh. Marina. It was just a little act. Oh. Cosmo was the best, just like hanging in the background, making best jokes. He's handsome. Listen, boys, a little more rhythm, boys. Hey, more steam and more water in that cup. It is outfit. Good morning, fellas. Oh, hi, Don. This is so, this is the twenties. First talking picture novelty, all time smash in the first week. Why don't you release the old one under a new title? You've seen one, you've seen them all. That's what that Kathy Selvin said to me that night. I can't get her out of my mind. She's the first dame who hasn't fallen for your line since you were four. Uh -huh. Anyway, I've got to find her. Well, you've been trying to, haven't you? Short of sending out bloodhounds and a posse? You can't let a little thing like this get you down. Why, you're Donald Lockwood, aren't you? Come rain, come shine, come snow, come sleet. The show must go on. So ready. Pagliacci. Make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? My dad said, be an actor, my son. But be a comical one. What a good friend. Put it on a personal little happy show. Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. <laughs> make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. Don't you all the... What? This guy in the movies. <laughs> I really need to see Don's face watching this. <laughs> Everybody used to wear them, Lena. And then everybody was a dope. You know what you've been busy at? Looking for that girl. As a matter of fact, yes. Why? I've been worried about her. Yeah, well, you should have been worried about me. The one who got the whipped cream and a kisser. Yes, but you didn't lose your job, and she did. Darn tootin' she did. I arranged it. You see her? Run to her! That's not all I'm gonna do if I ever get my hands on it. Yeah, I don't like her half as much as I hate you. Now kiss her, Don. That's it. More. More. Oh, well, Mr. Simpson, we're really rolling. Yeah, well, you can stop rolling at once. <gasps> Don. Talking picture. We're shutting down for a few weeks. What? Jazz singer, that's what's the matter. Down in Alabama. My no, little baby. No, no, this is no joke, Cosmo. <laughs> the public is screaming for more. More what? Talking pictures. Talking, talking pictures. pictures. We're going to make the dueling cavalier into a talking picture. Wait, Every studio is jumping on the bed. Wagon, Dexter. Go on, Dexter, get with it. You do what you always did. You just add talking to it. Well, of course we talk, don't everybody? Uh oh. Talkies. Okay, so this movie came out, what, 1957, I think it said? This is about. The 20s, when talking pictures first came out, means stage actors like Kathy, Girl, and it means that you're a gorgeous Lockwood can show his singing chop. Look at that little girl on his right. She looks familiar. You're a dazzling eye for beautiful girl. I talk to you about her. I featured her before in lots of nightclub shows. But she'd be very good in the part of Zelda's kid sister. You've got those lips that were meant to be kissed. Ooh. 
I've only ever seen her with a headpiece. I want to see her let it down. I was thinking about casting you as Zelda's kid sister. Hey, Kathy! That's Kathy Selden. But before Mr. Lockwood refreshes your memory, you might as well know. I'm the girl who hit Miss Lamont with a cake. Believe me, it was meant for Mr. Lockwood. Goodbye, Sid. I'm sorry. I should have told you. Well, we were going to use Miss Selden in Zelda's picture, but it would make you and Lena unhappy. Unhappy? I think it's wonderful. Been looking for her for weeks. Yeah. But don't let Lena know she's on the lot. That's settled. Take care of that, Phillips. Well, thank you, Mr. Simpson. Yeah, I'm glad you turned up. We've been looking inside every cake in town. <laughs> Oswald. See, all that stuff about Lena and me is sheer publicity. From what I've read in the columns and all those articles in the fan magazine. Oh. Well, I buy four or five a month. Do you buy four or five? Miss Lamar do achieve a kind of intimacy in all your pictures. Did you say we're... all my pictures? Jeez, what? Think of it, I've seen eight or nine of them. Eight or nine. I did say some awful things that night, didn't I? I deserved them. Of course, I must admit I was pretty much upset by them. I haven't been able to think of anything but you ever since. I've been pretty upset, too. Kathy, seeing you again now that I'm... Kathy, I'm trying to say something to you, but I, I'm i such a ham. Sing it. I'm not able to without the proper setting. This is the proper setting. A beautiful sunset. Mm -hmm. Colored lights in a garden. A lady is standing on her balcony in a rose trellised bower. Flooded with moonlight, soft summer breeze. You sure look lovely in the moonlight, Kathy. Now that you have the proper setting, can you say it? You were meant for me, and I was meant for you. You were all the sweet things, all up in one. I'm content the angels must have sent you. Choreographed song and dance. Professor's love. <laughs> Sing back to him. Ta te ti. Ta te ti to to. Round tones. Now let me hear you read your line. And I can't stand him. And I can't stand him. And I can't stand him. Can't. Can't. <laughs> Around the rocks, the rugged rascal ran. Around the rocks, the rugged no, rascal no, rocks. Rocks. Sin for Caesar, sipped his snifter, seized his knees and sneezed. Snipped his snifter. No, no. Sipped his snifter. Sipped. Oh, hmm. thank you. Hmm? Sinful Caesar, sipped his snifter, seized his knees and sneezed. Marvelous. Here is a good one. Choose them and he chooses them. He chooses them and he chews them. Cheddar cheese and chives in cheery, charming chunks. Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. <laughs> As Moses supposes his toes to be. Moses supposes his toes are roses. Moses supposes. Erroneously. <laughs> A Moses, a Mose, a rose is a rose. Hoopty doody doodle. Moses supposes his toes are <laughs> Moses. Moses supposes his toes are roses. Moses. <laughs> rose is a rose is a rose is a rose is. It's gotta be a rose cause it rhymes with Moses. Two are the cutest besties. Their legs are made of jello. <laughs> I think these guys were meant for the screen. <laughs> the diction coach is just taking it in. talk into the mic. I can't pick it up. There's a microphone right there in the bush. Yeah. Talk into it. Please remember round tones. Round tones. <laughs>
Don't worry, we're all a little nervous the first day. Everything's gonna be okay. You know the scene coming up where I say, imperious princess of the night, is it all right if I just say what I always do? Anyway, it's comfortable. But into the bush! Didn't tell everything was dangerous. Dana, we're missing every other word to talk into the mic. I can't make love to a bush! What are you doing? You're being wired for sound, dearie. The mic is in there. That's it. Now the sound will run from it. Oh, Lena. Now let's hear how it sounds, Lena. Okay, quiet! <laughs> you shouldn't have come. Sing. The mic's picking up her heartbeat. <gasps> they need a boom. Maybe they'll invent it. The mic is on your shoulder. Talking to the mic. Yeah. Oh, and don't make any quick jerky movements. What's this wire doing here? It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> is this the first time the audience is going to hear Lena talk? What's that? The thunderstorm outside? It's those pearls, Mr. Simpson. I am the noblest lady of the court, yet I am the saddest of mortals in France. France! My father has me betrothed to the Baron de Lance, and I can't stand him. Oh, <laughs> Belong to another. Pierre Vitali. Sounds good and loud, huh? Oh, Pierre, you should. They're laughing. They will surely find you out. Oh, this. And I, written by his arrow. Good thing it's just a preview, right? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you. Did somebody get paid for writing that dialogue? Sounds like a comedy inside. It's a Lockwood Lamont talking. What? This is terrible. Oh, the sound. It's out of synchronization. Well, tell them to fix it. Oh, no. Captured by Rouge Noir, the purple terror, I must fly to her side. Pierre! Pierre is miles away, you wet Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no! Oh, no. No, no. We're ruined. We're all ruined. You can't release this picture. You're such big stars, we might get by. You never want to see that Lockwood and Lamont again. Something happened to me at night. I, I, well, everything you ever said about me is true, Kathy. I'm no actor. I never was. Just a lot of dumb show. Did you ever see anything as idiotic as me on that screen tonight? Yeah. How about Lena? <laughs> or worse still, go back in the water. Well, fit as a fiddle and ready for love. I can jump over the water above. Bad I didn't do that in Dueling Cavalier. They might have liked it. Why don't you? Yes. Make a musical. Yes. <laughs> Well, why don't you turn the Dueling Cavalier into a musical? We've got six weeks before it's released. Add some songs and dances, trim the bad scene. And take out Lena. Sorry. You know, it may be crazy, but we're gonna do it. I feel this is my lucky day. Your lucky day is the 24th. I mean, it's 1.30 already. And what a lovely morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great. Talk the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. My grandma used to sing this to me to wake me up. It's great to stay up late. Then I saw it on a Viagra commercial and... Good morning, good morning, sunbeams will soon smile Good morning to you. Cast these three immediately. Hey, Madonna, the show goes on and I don't want to say good night. Don't say good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Off the cuff, guys. They are incredible. <laughs> Cosmo needs to find love too. The forever third wheel, even though they're so all cute. <laughs> it's just fine. Or... Lena, she can't act, she can't sing. I think I liked her best when the sound went off and she said, Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Wait a minute, I am just about to be brilliant. Good morning, good, good morning. morning. Good morning to you. Watch my mouth. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> 
Use Kathy's voice. Lena just moves her mouth and Kathy's voice comes over singing and talking. No! It's only for this one picture. The important thing now is to save the dueling cavaliers. Oh. Don, you're a genius. Mm. I'm glad you thought of it. Oh, Cosmo. <laughs> this California dew is just a little heavier than usual. From where I stand, the sun is shining all over the place. He is a ham. I'm singing in the rain. What a glorious feel. And I'm laughing at cloud. And the sun's in my heart. Come on with the rain. I have a smile. Now. Is this on a set or is this real rain? Okay, so I'm getting slight flashbacks to Tom Holland's under my umbrella lip sync. <laughs> Dancing and singing in the rain. We'll keep the whole thing secret until we're ready to release, just in case it doesn't come off. But I'm a little worried about Lena. I guarantee you, Lena won't even know she's on the lot. The dueling cavalier can be saved. <laughs> now, let's see. The title's not right. We need a musical title. Cosmo? The Dancing Cavalier. Cosmo, remind me to make you a scriptwriter. Now, what about the story? Okay, so this would be the first musical movie, then. The hero's a young hoof in a Broadway show, right? Right. Now, he sings and he dances, right? Right. But in the dream part, we can still use the costume. Cosmo, remind me to give you a raise. The ORF. Give me a raise. Cosmo needs more credit, for sure. You kiss her with, with a sigh. That Selden girl is great. Don, how much is there left to do? Well, it's a new one. It's for the modern part of the picture. It's called Broadway Melody. It's the story of a young hoof. I think Oscar, I think Dexter's out of a job. It's Don and Cosmo. Bring the frown to old Broadway. A million hearts beat quicker there. No skies of gray. That's the Broadway level. This is so tender. Gotta dance. <laughs> Gotta dance. She was Cosmo with him too. That Broadway rhythm, riding, beating. Gotta dance, gotta dance, gotta dance. He's on ice. Hairspray. Zach Efron loved that one. When I hear that happy <laughs> Dignity. <laughs> it's all still in the same movie, right?
like we get two movies in one. Forget you've got to have that selling girl re record all of Lena's dialogue. Don't let Lena know about it. Ah, nothing can keep us apart. Our love will last till the stars turn cold. Oh, Kathy, I love you. Don. Kathy, I can't wait till this picture's finished. No more secrecy. I'm gonna let Lena know. I'm gonna let everyone know. Your fans will be bitterly disappointed. From now on, there's only one fan I'm worried. I was kissing her. I happened to be in love with her. That's ridiculous. Lena, try and understand this. I'm going to marry her. Silly boy. She ain't the marrying kind. I'm going to go up and see RF right now. Why do you think Zelda's in such a sweat? Because Kathy nearly stole the picture from her. Sure, she's only doing you a favor helping you in the Dancing Cavalier. And she's getting full screen credit for it, too. They can't make a fool out of Lena Lamont. What do they think I am, dumb or something? Monumental pictures, wildly enthusiastic over Lena's singing pipes. I had nothing to do with it. Well, what are we going to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What do you think I am, dumb or something? I had my lawyer go over my contract. The studio's responsible for every word printed about me. You win, Lena. We better take Kathy Seldon's credit card off the screen. All right, all right. If she's done such a grand job doubling for my voice, don't you think she ought to go on and nothing else? Lena, I wouldn't do that to her in a million years. People just don't do things like that. I ain't people. I am a, a shimmering, glowing star. Are they going to tell Dawn and Kathy? I'll kiss her with a sigh, would you? And if the girl were I... It's unfair. Mark Wood's a sensation. But Lamont, what a voice. Coming over Without wonderfully, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... You sang as well as Kathy Seldon. Yeah, I'm gonna for a long time. I thought something was cooking beneath those bleach curls. She only did this for the one picture. That's what you think. You can't force her. You're not gonna give all that up just because some little nobody don't want to be my voice. Oh my gosh. And I just won't do it. You got a five-year contract. Well, what's the matter, RF? Why don't you tell her off? RF, if this happens, you'll get yourself a new boy because I won't stand. Who needs you? Now I'm still running the studio. I'm not so sure. But from now Concerned, I'm running things. Her voice is so bad. But tonight I'm gonna do my own talking. I'm gonna make the speech. Wait a minute. This is Lena's big night, and she's entitled to do the talking. Right. right. Uh, her own ego will ruin her. If we bring a little joy into your humdrum life, it makes us feel as though our hard work ain't been in vain for nothing. Bless you all. She didn't sound that way in the picture. Sing. Sing. Yes. Yes. Lena, we've got it. It's perfect. Lena, Kathy will stand back from there and sing for you. You mean she'll be back in the curtain? She's got to do it. She's got a five-year contract with me. Get over to that microphone. I'll do it, Don. I'll do it. But I never want to see you again. Let Kathy in on the plan. <laughs> I'm singing in the rain and I'm happy again. Open the curtain. Down the lane. Don't you see? Lovely eyes at me, they were gleaming. Uh, you've opened heaven's portal. Oh. 
Okay, that was a great ending. It was cute and sweet and innocent and it was kind of cool seeing that part of Hollywood. And I mean, I know it was a movie, but I guess I hadn't really thought about the switch from silent to talking pictures and especially how that would affect someone like Lena. <laughs> no, poor Lena. Not poor Lena, she was so mean in the end. Kathy was darling, what else was she in? And he, and Cosmo. I feel like we did not get enough justice for Cosmo actually, but they were all incredible, like so talented. I can't even, it was definitely a romantic musical. I really enjoyed it. It reminded me of White Christmas with the big numbers, but it was cool to see the sets and stuff. I don't think it's my, I don't think it surpassed like Sound of Music for me, but it was a perfect start to February. It felt nostalgic and sweet and had those songs stuck in my head. Hey, thanks so much for watching along with me.